Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Um, I'm here with Eric Fritchie, our head of innovations lab here at Beck Technology. He is just going to take us um, on an overview of Destiny Estimator's recent integrations with Procore's document and drawings feature, as well as their uh, financials. Um, so without further ado, Eric, I am going to hand this over to you. All right, thank you. So as uh, Melissa said, I'm Eric Fritchie. I'm the head of innovations lab here at Beck Technology. Um, just a overview of the innovations lab. It's a relatively new division here at Beck Technology and we're focused on um, future technology, advanced prototypes, and really trying to push the envelope of, of what our technology can do. And so along those lines, um, a couple of the integrations that we've worked on recently are with Procore, with the, you know, as she mentioned, the documents, drawings, and financials features. So um, I'll start out. Two of the integrations that have come out of the labs have actually um, been through development and are in Estimator, scheduled for release before the end of the year. And I will show those today. Two others. Um, have not yet been scheduled for development, but uh, will be coming in the product um, some later next year and others uh, further out that I can also talk to today. So the first feature is the integration with the documents and drawings for Procore. One of the problems that um, we've noticed with pre-construction teams is that they oftentimes don't have a single source of truth for their drawings. And so, you know, sometimes they're sitting on team drives or floating around on individual people's computers. And what we felt is that if we could integrate with the system that project teams are already using to track those documents, then we can really streamline the process and the communication in those pre-construction teams. So um, what I've what I have set up is a simple project that just has a couple of uh, drawings loaded up to it. And so here in Estimator, we now have the option to load a Procore document. And what this is doing is communicating with Procore and pulling up the, all of the companies that you're a part of and all of the projects that uh, you have access to. So I can go here and just as if I was navigating something on my computer, I can go all the way down to the project PDF, see all of the versions that have been loaded, and just very easily pull that from Procore directly into Estimator, where I can then start um, doing my takeoff just as if I had access to this document you know, natively uh, on my machine. But one of the other features is that Procore has a uh, very rich features around uh, document annotations and drawing sets and we wanted to be able to uh, access those as well. So the document that I have loaded up now is just one from their uh, document system but I also have access to any of the drawings that you might have uploaded and if I bring those in in addition to bringing in just the documents itself, we've also brought in all of the uh, all of the page names and analysis that have um, have been done by Procore, so we can leverage that power as well. So on once the um, once the project is complete, so we've got now a, a front end integration you know, bringing in the documents, but we wanted to streamline the process of going from an estimate and then downstream, um, you know, through construction. And so I've got um, some takeoff here is that we want to be able to use this takeoff as the basis for, um, for the budget for construction. So I can take this and without having to do duplicate like any data entry or remake all of these cost items, I can simply click the upload to um, Procore Financials. So I'm going to pick the company and the project that I want to upload this to. And um, I pick basically which, uh, 
um, cost classification I'm going to use to classify all of these line items and then map the five cost categories from estimator into the um, cost types for Procore. And then once that's done, I simply upload the items. And uh, after just a couple seconds, um, all of these items will have been pushed into that project on Procore. And so we can see here inside of my project, once I refreshed it, it's collapsed all of those line items down into their specific budget items for the uh, classification scheme that I selected and the uh, cost types for them. And then this can then be handed off on, you know, to the project team, to the financial department um, to track the budget uh, throughout the life of the project. Now, um, those, so those two features, as I mentioned, have completed development and are scheduled to release uh, before the end of the year. But with both of them, we feel that those really only tell half of the story. So jumping back to the takeoff for a minute, one of the things that teams uh, oftentimes can struggle with is communication, um, not only with their team, but also providing deliverables to you know, for an owner, for example. And so one of the things that uh, Estimator allows you to do, um, let me create just a little bit of takeoff here. One of the things that Estimator allows you to do is create reports based on your takeoff, where you can create a legend um, for the takeoff that, it, that is on your drawing. And what we have done is created a, a system to where you can take these, um, these reports, roll them back into a PDF, and then upload them back into Procore so that you can create a versioned set of deliverables for your for your inner team communication or for you know potentially a, a, an owner or another you know another group on you know in the company if it was going to like a BDC group or something like that and that way you can continue to use your central um, you know single source of truth document management system inside of Procore for both the originals and for the um, for the uh, the completed takeoff. Similarly, with the financials, um, we, we've demonstrated the upload into the financials where it can serve as the basis for a budget. Um, but as everybody knows, the project never costs as much as was estimated. And so if you're trying to do historical costing, the data that you want to capture is really the final cost of construction. And so what we have what we've done inside the innovations lab is after the um, budget is uploaded, we capture all of the changes that have been made to the cost and we can pull those back into Estimator. And when you combine that with Estimator's versioning functionality that's um, coming in 2019-10, it allows you to create a version of the estimate that represents the final buyout cost of the project. And then you can leverage the historical costing dashboards and our comparison tools to um, compare how the final cost um, changed relative to what the estimate was, and then use that final cost as part of your historical costing data. So those are the four features um, that we've that we've worked on here in the uh, innovations labs in order to integrate with Procore. Thank you, Eric, for that. Really appreciate you walking us through that. Uh, it looks like we have a few questions here from the audience. Um, and I think the first one, kind of broad, but what benefit does this integration bring to pre-construction teams? Like what kind of use can they get out of this as they're working on estimates and projects? <coughs> So um, 
I think that the that the benefit for the pre-construction team is is really twofold here. Um, so for the document management system is the benefit really has to do with that single source of truth and the ability to tie to specific versions of PDFs. It's you're not you're not losing you know you're not losing the documents anymore because somebody just had them you know sitting on their machine somewhere or it's floating around on a team drive is that everybody is working off of the same set of documents and then you can tie you know, because all of those documents are versioned inside of Procore, you can tie specific versions of your estimate to those specific versions of the document so that you can go back and say, okay, this is my um, DD set, you know, this is my DD estimate, and it was tied to, you know, this specific drawing, and you can view that takeoff. Um, you know, the for the financials integration, um, you know, for the front for the for the upload portion of it the benefit really comes for you know maybe your the vdc guy who's responsible for um, having to input all of that data is that they don't have to duplicate that work it's a lot less prone to errors because you're not trying to you know manually copy all of those numbers over but once we roll in the download function of getting in those um, final costs the advantage is really then going to come to the pre-construction team for their um, for their historical costing efforts and being able to very quickly see you know where those trends are and and how the final numbers compared to you know the estimate or previous projects before that Okay, so essentially what I'm hearing is that the biggest draw is being able to move into the single source of truth and kind of reduce some of the back and forth that can occur a lot of times in the process. Right. Awesome. Okay, great. Um, another question that we have here is, uh, are, are any of Beck Technologies clients right now, have they played with these features? Are any of them using this currently? So these features are, are all relatively new. One of the goals of the Innovations Lab is to um, get this functionality out in front of clients as quickly as possible. And several clients have um, looked at it and got their hands on it and played with it. Um, none of them yet have been using this in production. Um, but with the anticipated release here before the end of the year, um, clients will get the um, both the document management download integration and the financials upload integration. Great, and do you know by chance what the feedback has been from those who have had a chance to kind of look at it a little bit and tinker with it? So far, the, the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive, especially for from the people who, uh, you know, are already using, you know, Procore as their document management system. They're really excited to, um, you know, to be able to reduce that clutter and, and more seamlessly tie, you know, their estimate to the documents that they're using. And then really from the, the Procore admins, the people who are responsible for, you know, taking the estimate and setting it up as a budget inside of Procore, um, they are really excited to be able to, you know, one button press and have all of that work done for them that they can go in and then and then finalize that budget without having to do all of the upfront work of, you know, collapsing line items into budget items and typing in quantities and numbers and, and things like that. That's awesome. That's that is really great to hear. Um, it it sounds like this partnership has been pretty fruitful with Procore um, collaborations, obviously leading to this kind of innovation. Uh, does Beck Technology? Do you know that they plan to continue uh, partnering with Procore like this? Yeah, Procore is a is a great partner to work with. We've actually been uh, you know out to their offices, embedded in their team for you know some of these integrations. Um, they've been really great. They they really see the uh, construction industry going in the same direction that we do um, and really want to help integrate with Estimator and the rest of the construction process in order to get, you know, provide the most value to the clients as possible. And, um, you know, we have a long-term plan with them of several integrations that we think are going to um, bring an immense amount of value to the clients far above what any other um, application can do currently. That's incredible. So it really sounds like 
you're already thinking several years out into the future and want to keep bringing um, these kinds of benefits and value add to clients. Absolutely. Awesome. That is fantastic. Well, I think that's all of the questions that we have for today. Uh, thank you again, Eric, for being here with us. Um, uh, I do want to let everyone know, keep an eye on our events calendar at uh, beck-technology.com slash events. We are going to be having another webinar coming up at the end of the month. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, everyone who registered for this webinar will be receiving a recording of this later in an email format. Thank you guys again for being here. Really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing